so they are specified the four indicators the first part is rate of growth of national income second is rate of growth of per capita income third is quantity of the quantity of life of physical quality of life index and last is human development index these all four things we are going to understand in indicator so now first of all we are starting the growth rate of national So that should be not 
has uh, told you in the starting of this uh, lecture that we are measuring national income by various methods, expenditure method, income method, so that we are not getting the accurate answer. Each and every method uh, has some difference when calculating the national income. So exact measures or exact amount we are not getting for finding out the national income. So first is difficulty in calculating true national income. Second is population. Third is difference method of calculating national income. The fourth part is uh, sorry. This was the three limitations. Now the second main point is growth rate of a per capita. The second main point is growth rate of per capita income. Here they are specified uh, its mean, its standard expression, even the limitations. First, according to this indicator, when the per capita income of a country increased for a long period continuously, it can be said that the economic development has taken place. Per capita income is an average income per head. Per capita income is the gross national income of a country is divided by the population of the country. These indicators take place into the account of the population of the country too. And hence the per capita income as an indicator is superior to the national income as an indicator. The experts of UN, that is United Nations Organization, has recommended per capita income as an indicator of the economic development just as a national income. If the per capita income is high, there is a higher growth rate. If it is low, and it is a low growth rate, here they are saying, so first of all, you are going to find out the national income of the country. The gross national income of the country is divided by the total number of populations. So you get an average answer. How can average individual is earning? Suppose I am earning 10 rupees and the other person is earning 10,000 rupees. So if the population is 2, then we will divide it by 2. We will get the answer. So we will get all an average name. So we can say as at a bar, uh, we can calculate development from this point of view. So I will compare from the last year. The, uh, there is an increment in the per capita income or it is a decrement or we can say that it has declined. If it is increasing, our country is making a development. If it is not increasing, our country is not making development. If it is same and our country is at a stable point, it is not developing as well as it is not Tabular expression, here also they have specified the uh, various countries, example uh, from the economic survey 2016, Norway. They have specified in dollar. Each and every currency is, uh, currency is different. So all of them they have specified in a one currency that is a dollar. So Norway is 64,992. So both rate they have specified as one point one percent. Same way, America is 52,947 in dollar according to the 2014 report. Uh, China is 12,547. India is 5,497. Per, per head, India is working in dollar as a 5,497. Pakistan is 4,866. Uh, 4, so, even they have specified the growth rate, it is on page number 19. The technical expressions. Next part, the limitations, the disadvantages part. So the first is only estimate. We are only estimating. We are not getting the accurate answer of how the individual is earning. We are not saying each and every everybody is income. Just estimating the individual is earning this much. Because the census is calculated at the 10 years, we are not having the proper population uh, figure how uh, total persons who are alive. Difficulty in calculation of national income and per capita income. Uh, both these methods uh, we can say regarding the national income as well as per capita income. We can't get a proper answer. Because if we are comparing at a constant price or current price, constant price for the year suppose I am taking as a 2014, now the current price is different. So we can't get a proper accurate answer. Third is per capita income shows only in averages. You get only the average answer. Who are not getting the right answer. For this example, the individual is not getting 10,000. Then only, then also you get only 10,000 and 10. You have a two. For answer, you have 5, 0, 0, 5. So if the individual is not earning 5,000 and 5 rupees, he is earning only 10 rupees. So it is 